guys, good morning. Today is Monday, August 19th, one day before my due date. And I have you guys, so it's a work day, I'm still working. I have about a 45 minute drive to where I'm going for work. So I have you guys in a car mount and I feel completely safe, it's not distracting. Um, FYI, in case you're curious, I mean, I use my car mount, I put my phone in there anyways when I need directions, and you can still talk on the phone if your thing's in there, so anyways, just a disclaimer, I'm being safe, I'm not distracted, I don't need to look into the camera. I want to do a story time for today's video, um, it's not a fun story to have to tell, however, I will tell you before I start the story that the ending is good so you can just have peace of mind with that so today's Monday like I said yesterday the video I posted I had filmed like the five things I didn't expect about being pregnant we had like a decent morning like running errands going to church whatever then I just felt super tired and honestly like my stomach kind of hurt I didn't know it's so weird you know when you've never been through this it's your first baby you don't know like every little thing you feel you're not really sure what it is and usually I don't put much thought into it but since I'm so close to my due date like my stomach kind of hurting I'm like oh my gosh is this a contraction blah 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 I texted my friend didn't seem like they actually were contractions or anything but anyways we laid low pretty much all day. We just watched TV, napped, Netflix movie, whatever. So I was like laying down a lot yesterday and in the evening. So this morning, my husband gets up and goes to work really, really early. Like the middle of the night in my opinion. He works for 10 hour days, Monday through Thursday. He has to start at 4.30. Um, but he leaves I'm pretty sure he gets up at 3 30 he only works like 10 minutes away but he gets up at 3 30 he leaves by 4 and he starts at 4 30 and he's one of those people that's like the first person at his he is the first person to work he told me he just likes to be early he gets there and just it's peace of mind he drinks his coffee whatever so this story is going to start at three o'clock or 3 30 this morning so when he wakes up at 3 30 I don't like before I was pregnant I would never ever hear him get up or I mean I would hear him but he would just kiss me goodbye and that would be the end of it but now that I'm pregnant I'm already getting up so much or like since it's so towards the end um I get up go to the bathroom and then I'll like just converse a little bit with him then I go back to bed so this morning around 3 45 I like get up go to the bathroom we're visiting whatever I lay back down to go to bed now it's like 4 and I'm laying there and I realize like the baby is not moving and they say the baby should be moving multiple times an hour and you feel it the most like or you definitely notice it or you should notice it when you're laying down and it got me thinking like, okay, I'm laying here. I'm not feeling the baby move. And last night we were just like basically cause he goes to bed so early for work. Then I lay in bed and just kind of watch TV or whatever. I'm like, I don't remember the last time I felt the baby move. The last time I specifically remember was around like dinner time, which was let's say 6.30. And so I just started getting kind of worried and I got up and I started moving around hopefully you guys can hear me okay it's really noisy freeway but I started moving around I like looked up online and I have heard things like drink cold water so I drink water I um, did like jumping jacks um, I we have a like physio ball so I was like bouncing on the ball and like feeling my stomach and nothing was happening and at this point I texted my husband because 
once he starts work at 4.30, he can't and doesn't have his phone. So like I wouldn't really be able to reach him directly. I could call somebody at his work and they could give him the phone, um, but I can't like text him. So I texted him at 4.14, so like 15 minutes before he's supposed to start. And I said, do you have your phone? He's like, yeah. I told him what was going on. I said, I'm just, you know, um, I, I got up because I can't feel the baby. And he was writing me back and he looked something up. He told me to try to drink orange juice because of, of the sugar and whatever. Sorry if you guys are shaking. I just, this is what it is. So... Um, I go upstairs, I get orange juice, whatever, still nothing. He tells me to call the on-call nurse line that they, like, give you when you're, you're pregnant through my clinic. And at this point, like, mind you, it's minutes, but to me it feels like hours. Like, and the baby had a body part, like a hard bo body part up towards the left side of my ribs, and I was, like, pushing it to see if it would, he or she would like fire back, nothing. Like I couldn't get the baby to move. And um, so I call the on-call thing. Well, it's like, you're the first call in queue, but it felt like I was on hold for like ever. Finally, the guy picks up, I tell him like I'm due tomorrow. I don't feel my baby moving. And I knew that they would tell me to come in, but whatever. So he said, he was really nice, he didn't like freak me out or anything, he just said, yeah, you know, come in, I'll call it, I'll call labor and delivery and let them know you're coming, which I thought was really nice that like I didn't just have to go into the emergency room, that they actually gave them a heads up, like this is what she's coming in for, this is why. So um, he said, is your husband going to bring you? And like I told him, and at this point, my husband did say he was leaving work, but it was like, his work's like 10 minutes the other way from the hospital. Basically the hospital's like in the middle. So I just told my husband to meet me there because I didn't want to wait for him to come and get me, blah, blah, blah. So I leave to go to the hospital. Again, I'm like feeling my whole stomach, still not feeling anything. Again, this is all a matter of probably Oh my gosh, I don't even know because I think we ended up getting to the hospital at like 4.30 and some change. So this was like a short amount of time, but to me it felt like forever. And I was like pretty composed at this point when I pulled up to the hospital. My husband and I got there at literally at the exact same time. We had to park at the emergency room doors and then walk through. I started kind of like whimpering and I had a few tears in my eyes. And all these things are racing through my head. Like, what if something happened? What if they can't find the heartbeat? What if all the what ifs? What if we go, we're going into the hospital and we're supposed to be at the point where we're having our baby and they tell us like horrible news? Like, I just got really scared. And when I saw my husband, he just gave me a hug and like it was like the most silent walk from like the emergency room to getting up to labor and deli delivery the only things I said was like I'm scared I'm scared and I was just kind of crying and he's just like it's gonna be okay and that was basically it so we check in through the emergency room all they had to do was like give me a wristband call up to labor and delivery they gave the lady at the doors like the okay like they gave her some code and told her to send her up send us up and she was like trying to get us to do paperwork like we we're coming in to have the baby and I'm like I'm not at oh I wasn't like that I was like I'm not having the baby like we're just get it, coming in to get checked up kind of like come on lady like get your get moving like she it felt like she was taking forever and she's like oh can I get some signatures and we're like is it mandatory like I don't know anyways we get in there pretty quick we go up to labor and delivery they they bring us in they buzz us through the doors up there we knew where to go um and then all all they had me do they brought me right into the triage room they put this tube um what would you call it a tube top that goes just on your belly so that they put the dopplers under the like tube top thing 
notes and the Doppler or whatever the thing that measures or can hear the heartbeat, then it just stays in there. So it's not like they have to hold it, you know? So she immediately, she was so nice. She said, I, and oh, everybody up there is so nice. They're just, they hire the nicest people to work in labor and delivery, which they should. But she was so sweet and had me lay down and she said, I know this is what you want right away. So we didn't waste any time. We weren't talking. She didn't make me do my vitals. She put the thing on and immediately we heard the heart heartbeat and oh my gosh, I just started bawling because I was just, I was holding it together. And then when I heard the heartbeat, I just lost it and started crying because I was so, so happy and so relieved and so thankful and so grateful and it just the whole experience was so emotional and made me so empathetic to people that have, that do go through either scares like that honestly because it's not fun but that have something happen during their pregnancy it just breaks my heart it, like I couldn't even imagine it makes me cry, feel like I want to cry right now thinking about it um, I'm so glad that my husband, like, was available to meet me right away, and we went in there, and the lady told me, like, I did the right thing, and that, whatever, they measured the heartbeat for, like, honestly 30 minutes, um, because during that time, she was, like, just, they have to routine, like, ask you a bunch of questions, take your blood pressure, take your pulse, check your reflexes, take your temperature, so we, she just kept the thing, um, measuring the heartbeat the whole time, and she said it looked healthy and great, and that I did the right thing, and most likely the baby was moving. I just, may, maybe not this morning, like at four in the morning when I was like watching for it, but I'm sure like last night and everything, it just, she said, you know, the movements change, and it's not, you don't feel like the like kicks and the jabs anymore. But it is it's weird because, like, some days I feel all this shifting and then some days it's not. So, huh, that was my rant and story time for the day. Um, I did get to go home and I think by the time I left there, I don't know for sure, like, if I looked at my phone, which I'm filming on, I could see. But I think the whole thing going in there and everything was not more than an hour and like I said, I first texted my husband at like 4.15. I think by the time we left the hospital, it was 5.30. So it was like a smooth s scenario. Um, she, The lady said, we'd rather have you come in 12 times just in case than not, you know. And especially being this close to the end, um, just the peace of mind. And I don't know, like I so glad that everything's okay and that I did go in and make sure and just a little side note when I got home so I didn't technically have to get up for work till like 8 and leave the house by like 8 45 so I was able to go back to bed thank goodness so I slept from like 6 to 8 10 um which was good because I had been basically up since three something. But when I laid down in bed, they say that like your pets can sense things, you know, like, you, I don't know if you guys have heard that, but I've heard pets like sense and know when you're like sad or when something's wrong. And we have a cat and if the cat comes up in bed with us, he usually lays either like right up by our head or like by our feet always like he doesn't really go anywhere else and he jumped up on the bed and he laid literally like I was on my side but he laid right on my stomach and he had his paw right on like where the baby is and I just oh that just made me so warm and fuzzy because I felt like he knew something had been going on and he was just like coming up to me saying it's okay and yeah so I think that's this was 15 minutes of me ranting, so that's going to be the whole update for today. Um, I'm not having any contractions or anything. I'm due tomorrow. Um, I am working still. I absolutely love my job. 
and I did um, change some things with my job like I'm not driving as far as I like usually would be or could be like I'm pretty much keeping it to like an hour radius of whatever but um, I've slowed down a lot I'm not as busy and honestly I couldn't imagine just being at home because I think I don't know I would like keeping my mind busy and I think if I was sitting at home I'd just be wondering when the baby's coming so um, yeah today I have a couple meetings around town uh, an appointment and a meeting and then I'm today is the day my brother is actually leaving for college he goes six and a half hours away and I'm gonna go and get breakfast with him after this first um, appointment so I'm gonna see him and say goodbye to him he is coming back for not necessarily the birth just because it's like he starts school a week from today and he also plays college hockey so he has like he has commitments and stuff he needs to do but he's gonna come back for sure like Labor Day um, so either way the baby will be just like fresh brand spanking new so thanks for listening to my story time if you or you if yourself or you know anybody that has experienced um, like devastation in their pregnancy my heart goes out to you I felt like I got just like the slightest little taste of it and it wasn't even but just like the whole thing was so scary and emotional and it was literally like an hour like and I can't imagine um, having to go through that so and then one last thing I just thought of is it's so weird um, I told my mom I just talked to her before I left the house and it's so funny how many similarities she and I or like I've had in my pregnancy that she experienced and I know I've like heard this story before but it maybe it didn't like maybe it maybe I, I've heard this story but I didn't really realize it but she, when she was pregnant with my brother she was like right at the end just like me right now like just about to be due and she slipped getting out of the bathtub um, and she laid on the bed and wasn't feeling him move um, and she same exact thing just freaked out and got really nervous and scared and went in and immediately they heard the heartbeat so just it's not funny but it's like there's been so many things where it's like the same thing like I had and then she also experienced it or she experienced it first hopefully this wasn't too like shaky and too loud and if it did work out okay that's kind of nice because if I ever want to do a little rant like this again this is really convenient and it just took up almost half of my boring drive so thanks for watching um I'm going to try to get something filmed tomorrow on my due date and posted tomorrow night if you guys have any questions let me know follow me on instagram so you can see when the baby comes and we'll see you in the next video